All right, guys, welcome back to the office today. I thought we'd take a couple of minutes to take a look at the new IPF approved list for 2023, which will stay in effect until the end of December 2026. So it's like a three year period uh, because there's a couple of interesting things on here. So first, let's take a look at SBD. And SBD is one of the companies that have been on this list year in and year out. Not much has changed at surface level. You see things like their singlets that are on here, which, by the way, they're dropping a new color version on November 10th. And it's really funny how they make this big deal out of just recoloring their singlets, but they're going to do it. It looks like it's going to be like another all black version. I actually do have some of the newer SBD singlets. If you want to see a video on those, they are much improved in my opinion than in years past, but uh, the new colorway is coming out fairly soon. Wrist wraps, singlets, knee wraps, you know the deal with them of what to expect with knee sleeves, whatever the case may be. What's interesting here is that it now has some asterisks on the equipment next to SBD belt 2023. So some sort of new SBD belt to come out as well as new versions of their wrist wraps and knee sleeves. You actually have version one and a version two. And what this leads me to believe is a couple of things. First with the belts, I think it's going to be a different kind of belt. And I say that because when we take a look at some of these other companies who have multiple belts approved in terms of thickness, as of right now, the SBD belt is only available in 13 millimeter black leather outside, red suede inside. Um, they typically will group those in the same thing. So it'll say like, you know, powerlifting belt 10 slash 13 millimeter. Or if there is a different type of lever, it will then add a different category for that. So it might be some sort of different clasping mechanism. Um, but definitely expect new belts coming out fairly soon. And again, the asterisk here denotes that it's provisionally approved. So that tells me I think that they've probably paid for it, they've created it or have some prototypes available, but the IPF just hasn't gone out and got the final copies to inspect them fully. And with the knee sleeves, you see version one, version two, as well as wrist straps, version one, version two. I'm thinking this is going to have to do with the stiffness and or thickness of these items. And again, we'll see as it says 2023, so I would expect those to be launched fairly soon. Um, now, interestingly enough, when I go here and I go to the SPD website, you don't really see any mention of these on here. Here you can see the belt like I talked about. This is the standard version. Again, there's no other belt that you can get. If you're going to get an SPD belt right now, it's just, you know, 10 centimeters wide, which is like four inches. It's that big chunky lever on it. It's adjustable black leather, red suede inside. Uh, so some sort of newer belt to here. And then, of course, you see their common things, their knee sleeves, uh, elbow sleeves, which is not allowed in competition in this case, wrist straps. Um, but you don't see any mention of any of these new products, so you should hopefully see that sometime soon. And if I go to the collections, I don't know if they're going to have some sort of uh, promo for their new one. I think it's called Midnight or Phoenix, or Blackout, or something. Like I said, they have some teasers available. So SBD expect new belts, new sleeves, and new wrist straps, or at least variations of what they already have available. Aleco, not a ton to see here necessarily at first glance. It's interesting to me to see some things on here, however, like their powerlifting singlet and their quick release 13 millimeter belt. And I say that because when I take a look at their existing belts, they do have these new kind of leather versions, which look very much like just a two-prong powerlifting belt that we're used to, but nothing on here about a quick release. You have more like weightlifting standard belts. Um, so nothing on here which I could deem as a quick release. So that potentially is a new item coming from Aleco as well. And then when I take a look at their singlets, I know they've had this one available. This is a weightlifting singlet. This has been available for a few years now. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone use these in a powerlifting competition. But if we go back to the approved list, you have the Aleco singlet, which is already on there, but you now also have an Aleco powerlifting singlet. So maybe a new singlet from Aleco as well, which doesn't really excite me a ton because I haven't seen a lot of people wear those. I don't have any experience with them. I think people more look at Aleco as like bars and discs and that kind of things. Rogue, nothing new here. You have knee sleeves, 13 millimeter belts, and also a three inch belt option as well. A7, which I've been a big fan of for many years, has a ton of stuff on here. So a lot of this is probably going to get lost in the weeds just because there's so many things here and they're mostly just variations of one another. For example, there's, you know, the wrist wraps, medium 55, medium 77, medium 99. So going with the different lengths, stiff wrist wraps, 55, 55 77, 99, so forth. Flex wrist wraps, 55, 77, 99. 
You do see some newer things coming on here which are not on their website. So like zebra wrist wraps, I'm assuming this is more of just like a design type deal. I'm not 100% sure, but very many different variations of those as well. The thing that kind of excites me a little bit is when we take a look at their knee sleeve options. So typically the A7 cone knee sleeves have been their main bread and butter knee sleeve offering for a couple of years. They did briefly have an aversion out before that, which they stopped selling due to some issues with SBD. Um, but if you look down here, they now have hourglass knee sleeves and there's actually three different versions of these knee sleeves. There's a flexi version, there's an stiff version, and there is a rigor mortis version. So, you know, flexible, stiff, and super stiff in this case, uh, and an hourglass type design. So I'm assuming maybe something similar to what the Inzer Ergo Pro knee sleeves feel like, or the new Iron Rebels, which by the way, I have the Iron Rebels on order. I should be getting those in a couple of weeks, but that heavier duty, stiffer material, I'm assuming maybe that's what the rigor mortis is here, but really excited to see them come out with some new stuff. And A7 is a great place, number one, because they give so much back to the lifting community, but as well, like if I come and take a look at A7's website and their approved list, they have literally everything, uh, no matter what it is you want. And you can really get a complete kit here. So I know a lot of people, when they get into powerlifting initially, or even just who have been competing for a long time, you like to have like the whole kit from shirt to singlet, to socks, to knee sleeves, to wrist wraps. And while a lot of people like SBD, the problem with SBD is, Typically, the good colors are always sold out, so you only really are regulated to red and black, which to me is just kind of overdone in SPD. So with A7, you have a ton of different options, all of which IPF approved, and all of which are really reasonably priced in my opinion. So if you're interested in that, definitely check them out. I did reach out to A7 to ask them, you know, what about these hourglass knee sleeves, some of these other items, and they said they have a lot in store, more info to follow soon. So this IPF approved list is also somewhat of a spoiler list, if you will. Uh, Jim Reapers, I'm not going to talk about, nothing exciting here. Lift.net, nothing new necessarily, but for me, if I were going to compete in the IPF, or if I were to qualify for the IPF, so if I went to Powerlifting America here in the States and qualified for something like maybe Masters in an IPF level, I would probably get most of my kit through Stoic just because I really like their knee sleeves. I like their singlet. It really reminds me like the Titan singlet, but just a little bit different. Um, they do have belts available as well, so you could really get your full kit out in Stoic as well. And what I like about Stoic compared to maybe some of this other things that I've talked about, like uh, SPD, for example, kind of similar to A7, they have a lot of different options right now. So they have different color knee sleeves, they have different color belts, wrist wraps, so you can really do a matchy matchy kit yourself out. The only thing that they don't typically offer colors is, is their singlet, but they have recently started teasing some newer singlets of different colors, so I know they have that in development as well. So if you're interested, also really highly recommend Stoic in addition to A7 and some of the stuff that they're doing. Vortex, not going to really talk about. There's nothing here that excites me except for one thing on here, and that is one of their belts because they have listed the PAL lever belt, which means they've outsourced through Pioneer, which you guys are familiar with because I love my Pioneer adjustable lever. That's what PAL stands for. It looks like this will now be IPF approved if you have the Vortex version. So Pioneer, although themselves are not approved, they actually sell belts for A7 iron tanks and those companies have paid the IPF fees to get their versions of the Pioneer belts approved. And it looks like Vortex has done the same with the PAL adjustable lever, which is really cool to finally see. Speaking of iron tanks, they're on here as well. I don't think there is anything new in here, so I'm just going to keep going. Lifting large, same kind of thing, nothing to talk about. Same with Titan. You see a lot of items from Titan here, but Titan is one of the bigger equipped manufacturers. So that's why you see a lot of suits and different types of wraps and shirts and stuff. Uh, same thing with Inzer. So nothing new for Inzer. The Ergo Pro knee sleeves were already approved, but a lot of equipped type gear uh, that I am not super familiar with. Iron Bull Strength has some stuff on here, mostly wrist wraps, it looks like. In fact, only wrist wraps, so. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a second page. So a lot of stuff on here as well. It looks like a whole bunch of different versions of belts. So this is what I was talking about with the SBD belt, where I think it's going to be something a little bit different, whether that it's not as wide, so maybe a three-inch version, maybe a different type of clasp, uh, just because, as you can see here, um, from this particular company, Iron Bull, they have a ton of different things on here. Oni, which was formerly Bukaya, 
Buyaka. Don't want to get too wrapped up in that. Uh, they have some stuff on here. Not really readily available in the States. I think this is more Japanese, if I recall correctly, so I'm not going to focus on it. Strength Shop, again, has been on this list year in and year out. Nothing new to what I can really tell on here. Super Training, same with them. Um, some interesting things on here. You have a Wallander's belt. I know a lot of people like these. I do not have one. They're not readily available here in the States. Interestingly enough, I see Gymshark on here as an IPF Gymshark singlet. And I say this is interesting just because I don't really equate Gymshark with powerlifting, although they have had powerlifting type singlets in the past. Currently, this is the only one I could find on their website. It's a woman's only. So if you're into that, I know they sponsored Jamal Browner, but Jamal does not compete in IPF or IPF affiliates. Uh, so this is a little interesting to me in that regard. And this doesn't remind me of a actual powerlifting singlet. This is more of a onesie. You might also recall they came out with one a couple of years ago that looked like this, an all-in-one. I think Tim Thibodeau did a video on it on YouTube, which was really funny to see him squeeze into that. Um, so I would maybe expect potentially a new Gymshark singlet that's going to come out that might be for men and women, not sure, but it's on here. You do have a powerlifting motivation singlet as well, which I also think is interesting that someone's going to pay uh, to get their name out there for the IPF approval um, because it is relatively expensive. So that's interesting to see here. Moving on, what I want to talk about next is just some of the actual equipment. So we've talked about like what you can wear. The equipment side of the house has gone through a lot of changes. A lot of companies have gotten out of this. So you don't see like the ER combo racks anymore. You don't see stuff like Texas Strength Systems, things like that. You still have Rogue uh, and Aleco, which are some of the big carryovers in my opinion. Uh, but otherwise, if you're in the States, you don't have a ton of options for actually IPF approved equipment, except now in addition is Hansu Power, which I'm super pumped to see. I've done a couple of videos on their gear. It's really well priced, really good build quality. Uh, I've talked about their discs before or their plates for that matter. They have a couple different options. And in fact, if I go over and do my due diligence. I have a couple of things on here to share with you guys. First of which is their plate. So they have two different versions right now. Uh, there's the classic version and this other updated version. I had both of these and what I said is I kind of like the grip on one better, but I like the coloring of the plates on the other. They actually sent me a newer design, which I'm thinking is the one that's gonna be IPF approved. I'm waiting to hear back from them for confirmation. I'll show you some pictures right now on, on the actual video, but it, they're super nice. They're kind of like a combination, best of both worlds, really nice finish, fit quality to them. And on the back, they have some pretty unique things that really separate them from the rest of the crowd. And again, their price point is probably the best price point of not only any IPF approved disc or plate, but also just any really calibrated plate on the market. I think they're right in line with people like Bells of Steel or Titan for the budget-friendly options. But again, their build quality is so much better. So really excited to see that. And I kind of alluded to the other spoiler alert. They're going to have actually a combo rack that's approved. I believe it's going to be this model. Now, this pricing is Canadian because they're in Canada. But this equates out to be about $1,900 US. And in most of their items... I don't know for this one because it hasn't actually been in stock yet. You can pre-order it, but they do free shipping in both Canada and the United States. So like $1,900 for an IPF approved rack, which actually, if you take a look at like some of the pictures and some of like the components of this, it looks really, really nice. So super pumped about that as well, uh, because typically speaking, otherwise you were looking at like a Texas strength systems rack as the cheapest option before they went off this list. And if you got face savers and things like that, the pricing was you know, close to $3,000 after shipping. So much more price friendly, excited to see what Hansu can do at the end of the day. Um, but all these other companies not really readily available here in the States. And that's who the majority of my audience is for. Uh, but just some exciting things coming from the IPF in 2023 and 2026. And big shout outs to all these companies that were mentioned because they do have to pay out of pocket in order to get their equipment out there and for you. And I know a lot of times they don't see a return on that investment. So we appreciate them giving back to the lifting community. Let me know what you're most excited about in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big. Woo!